So I have another example for you. Let's look at acetic acid CH3COOH and let's take CH3SO3H. Before we start comparing the acidic strength of these two molecules, let me write down how their structures really look like. We have CH3 connected to a carbon which is double bonded to oxygen and a hydroxyl group. Similarly, here we have CH3 where our carbon is connected to sulfur atom which is connected to oxygen, a hydroxyl molecule and another oxygen. Before we start comparing the acidic strength, you guys remember that we have to make the conjugate basis of these two molecules. Why don't you guys pause the video and write your own conjugate basis? Acetic acid loses this hydrogen most easily because it's connected to oxygen and because it's connected to this oxygen, this oxygen being way more electronegative than hydrogen, it requires a negative charge and hydrogen requires a positive charge. This positive charge is again attracted by a neighboring water molecule and then taken away. So our conjugate base looks like this CH3COO negative. On the other hand CH3SO3H because we saw that there is a hydroxyl group the sim a similar kind of situation happens where where our conjugate base looks like this. Let me draw its structure CH3 CO and O negative. Similarly, I have this structure which will look CH3 S double bond O O negative and O. As there is no cyclic molecule here, there is no con there is no scope of aromaticity. But I can see a good scope of resonance here. This negative charge can go and jump here while this pi bond is taken over by oxygen. In the similar way, this oxygen can push its electron over here and this pi bond can be attracted by this oxygen. Let me show you guys how the resonance will look like in this molecule and this molecule. This is how the resonance structures look like. Here in acetic acid, we see the negative charges bound stuff here, the pi electrons go over here and we get two resonating structures. Over here, we have CH3, S double bond, O double bond, O and O negative. Then the negative charges delocalized three times over the three oxygens. We have one, two and three resonating structures. Because both of these are equivalent resonating structures, which mean that the hybrid structures of the molecule is supported by these resonating structures equally. That means more are the equivalent resonating structures, the more stable a molecule becomes. This molecule has two equivalent resonating structures, while this molecule has three resonating structures. This shows us clearly that this conjugate base is more stable than this conjugate base. Which shows that CH3COOH is less acidic than CH3SO3H.